Hold on, it's Miguel Sam Possible. Amigas, my name is Taffrey16. Welcome back to a, another reaction video and a welcome to a new monthly series, Peter K's Car Share. I know some of you have been awaiting this for a while. If you're new to the channel, I've actually had this planned for a very long time. I've had this planned since I was still doing Phoenix Nights. The plan was to finish Phoenix Nights, then do all of Max and Patty, which I completed last month, and then start the car share. So that's what we're doing. So, Peter K. Car Share, a uh, sitcom uh, set around a supermarket assistant manager John Redman, played by Peter K., uh, and promotions rep uh, Kayla Kitson, played by Sion, Sion Gibson, uh, and their participation in a company car sharing scheme. It had three series on tw for 12 episodes. That's interesting. Three series? Hmm. Okay, so the first series was six episodes. The second series was four. And then the final... Oh, okay, no, no. The, there was... The third series was kind of like two specials. Okay, got you. And there's also an audio special they did last year. And a uh, short called Peter K's Christmas Comedy sh uh, Shuffle, which they did in between the first and second series okay got you uh so uh like there's they've, i've gotten uh, a lot of recommendations on this a lot of people telling me that they think this is peter k's best show um which is a high bar considering what i've seen so far i've completed six shows on this channel and half of them are peter k shows phoenix knights uh that peter k thing and uh, max and patty so uh, for this to possibly be the best show is very intriguing. I'm excited to watch it, so let's get into watching it. Episode 1. Alright, well, here we go. Please make a U-turn. I don't think you know where you're going, you love. You're taking me all over the bloody place. Immediately, make a U-turn. I can't do a U-turn. I'm in the middle of the road, love. There's the trash one behind you. Please turn right and make a U-turn. Well, it's not that one. The route is being calculated. Bruh. Where are we going? That's where... Prepare where is this now? Turn right. Okay. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I've been round here twice. Now, turn right. This is ridiculous, this. <laughs> Please follow the road for three quarters of a mile. Yeah, I've passed these houses twice. That dog were a bloody puppy. <laughs> now we're out. Absolute piss take. The route is being calculated. Bruh. Oh, me and you are going to fall out. I'll tell you that right now. Fuck technology. It'd be easier to pull into the garage and get a bloody map. Now, turn right. Just wait there. Whoa. Whoa. Play the game. Please make a U turn. <sighs> Last chance. Please turn left at the end of the road and then immediately turn left. You have reached your destination. Well, this is a dead end. I can't go down here. Now, go straight. <laughs> oh, you're off your tits. <laughs> right, well, if this isn't it, you can bloody walk to work. You have reached your destination. Finally. This is it. Yeah, I know him. What's up? You're sulking now, are you? Uh, 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 uh. Hi! Hi there, you alright? Did you find me alright? Not a bother, straight to the door. Uh -huh. Hello! I'm actually a bit nervous. Hmm? I've never been in the car with a stranger before. Well, I know you're not a stranger, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Do you mind if I turn the radio on? Go for it. Find what you've got in common and you can build it through from there. Yeah, let me bring in Colin, because I believe you have a mantra. The, the... I love this. So do you think this car share thing is going to work? Yeah, I think it will. Not if you have to listen to this every day. <laughs> I love Forever FM. They play timeless hits now and forever. I won't say Martika's kitchen was timeless. Well, you remembered it. So why do you think they're doing this? Save money. Doing what? Car sharing. Huh. Apparently it's good for the environment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not the fact we haven't got enough car park spaces at work. 
Oh, okay, that makes sense. Can you stick your drink in there? How many copper accents gonna have Watch on this yourself. one? Watch yourself, it doesn't fit all cups. Don't force it. You're having a laugh! You're having a laugh! I'm so sorry! I, I'm, I'm mortified, John. I am... It's not a good start, is it? No, it's not a good start. Not <laughs> at all. Not at all a good start. Oh, what is it? It's, it's Red Bull? Is it Red Bull? Fennel? No. Sweet and sour? It smells of sweet and sour. What is it? it it's, a, it's just a sample. A sample? A sample of what? Am I alright? <laughs> it's in my mouth! It's in my mouth! Okay, you're pissing my mouth! I'm so sorry! What is happening? Why have you got a sample in that? That's why it's called a sample. You put it in a sample pot, love. You don't put it in a pot bottle with a sports top. I'm sorry, I had no choice. Oh, Kieran's taking my fun up to Basra. Oh, oh, too much. Oh, my God, I stink. Now, that explains the sweet and sour, doesn't it? <laughs> You're dirty. I'm not dirty, thank you very much, John. I use a funnel for hygiene reasons so it doesn't go on my hands. Do you want to run in and all that? It's all right for you. You can just aim. 40 minutes I was squatting through daybreak. Oh, my God, I don't believe this. <sighs> Turn round, I'll... I'll... I'll go back and I'll dry your shirt in my dryer. I've no time for that. I've got an appraisal at half nine with Dave Thompson. I walk in stinking like a gent's piss stones. At Clear Vista Windows, we're shattering prices on our UPVC windows and doors. What is commercial 17? Oh my god. Did you? Did I what? On the world? It's like he's going to a basketball game. Is. This is so easy, Katie. Can you put them in the toaster? Absolutely, here we go. So then, in the toaster this morning, we have a major Hollywood star. Nearly dry. Yeah, it still stinks, though. It's making me hungry. How am I going to explain the smell? Let's say you got mugged. Mugged. Well, I can have a sick mug of throws piss on you. Yeah, I know, right? Better than acid, I guess. We could wear my cardi. Fast, thanks. Log on to brighterdaycareers.co.uk and get your career back on track. Looking okay so far this morning. There are a few things to mention, though. On the M60 at Junction 3, we've got a few delays because of a broken down car. It is just being recovered now, so hopefully that will be sorted soon. Oh, the M6, no. we've got roadworks there heading northbound between Junction 22 and 24, so a bit of a queue there. It'll add about 20 minutes onto your journey, particularly if you're using the M6 there. And in the city, Luke Street is closed this week, so delays around the block. Nearly dry. Is it? Yeah, there go. Still gonna smell like this, though. You going on holiday this year? No. Did you go anywhere last year? No. Same. Why well, couldn't if I wanted to? No. Nope. Well, I mean, heck, you don't get out much, do you? I've been busy working. All right. Went to a year before, you must know. Oh, where'd you go? Malta. Oh, nice. Did you go to Bajiba? Bajiba. Bajiba? Bajiba. Bajiba. Yes, I did. <laughs> did you go there with? Um, I went with my ex. Do I know him? Him? Does he work at our place? He? He? Sorry, I thought you were gay. Gay? <laughs> I'm not gay in any sense of the word, right? Okay. Enough. Where's all what's, what? What made you think I were gay? Well, you're always on your own. Can you um, And you live with your mum, don't you? No, I no, I do not live with my mum. Thank you. Well, it's Diane off on food. She said you were gay. Did she? Did she indeed? Well, I'll be having bloody words with Diane off on foods, casting aspersions. Oh, well, don't say I said anything. It was that Christmas party last year, and you got up to where I am what I am. And and you were dancing a bit too enthusiastically. Mother of pearl. <laughs> The world's gone mad when a man can't dance to Gloria Gaynor without being accused of being a homosexual. What? Facts. Homosexual. It's homosexual, John. Christ, I can't even speak now. Don't be telling Diane to tell her one of my big gay mute next. All right, Freddy, keep your vest on. Freddy? Mercury sat there in your gay man's vest. And whose fault's that throwing your piss all over me? Stay to this. 
Jane in Bolton. There you go. Perfect, that. Good as new. How long is it? Say it's coffee. Yellow coffee. Custard. Mustard. Corner. Just put your jacket to, you won't see it. I did my best. Thank you. Okay, accepted. Oh, wait. Eastern Australia. The blazes have now you threw piss on him, bro. So what was she called, your ex? New South Wales and Victoria. Workers at the day she, she was called Charlotte. Oh, that's a nice name. Flair. Were you with her for long? Ooh. Long enough. Oh. Did she break your heart? Were you gutted? Do you still speak to her or do we hate her? I appreciate your interest, Kayleigh, but some of the time, eh? Enough of my mind today. I'm out of piss. Understood, Jonathan. With Lancashire scrap metal for all your scrap needs, whatever the weather. Mm. All we need. How long did you drive to work? Whoa, whoa, whoa! This bugs me now. Look at this. Adult crossing here. It's a kid's crossing. He's on his own, he's no kids. Chancer. Eh? Shouldn't be allowed. Judas. Must remember to pick up some Mac 3 for our care and. Who's that your boyfriend? No, my brother. Alright. <laughs> Does he live with you? Yeah, on and off. He's in the army, so he's away a lot. Mm. I bet that's tough. Mm. Have you ever seen any action? I hope not, he's a chef. Oh. Surprise, you're not courting. Courting? How old are you? <laughs> you know what I mean. Courting? Seeing somebody. No, no, I'm not. Don't judge me, but I've just started this online dating thing. Not judging you. It's just so hard to meet someone when you get to my age. What age is that? John, don't ask a lady your age. 36. <laughs> You don't look 36. Yeah, it's a last resort, to be honest. Heartsearchers.com. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Oh, have you? 50 quid joining fee. It's a bit steep, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that'll weed out a few jabs. I don't want no scrubs. Ah, fair enough. My problem is my clock's ticking now. My eggs are already nearly past the use-by date. If I don't get a spurt on, they'll be whoopsed. All right, a bit too much information. Well, women need to think about these things, John. It's all right for men, you can reproduce into your 80s. Look at Des O'Connor. I think it's cruel. Or Boris Johnson. It's cruel on the woman, cruel on the baby. Before long, she's going to be changing two sets of nappies. Ugh. I suppose. I hate it when old people smell away. Aye. But you're all right me stinking of it, aren't you? <laughs> I said I was sorry, didn't I? Anyway, you can't even smell it now. It smell's gone. What's, what are you doing? Give I was going to say, do you have any perfume? Oh, no. Never smell like a brothel. Can't stop it. Cheeky fish. It's Jade Goody Shush, this. 50 quid a bottle. Forever FM weather with Lancashire scrap metal. If the outlook is rubbish, call Keith on 08081 570 075. So here it is, the Forever FM Golden Hour with hits and headlines from a chosen year. Today it was the year the poll tax was hey. in Freddie Mercury, the lead singer of Queen, tragically died of AIDS while Julie Roberts was sleeping with the enemy. Sounds like Freddie might have been as well. It's the Golden Bruh. Hour from the year this band were losing their religion. But what is the year? 1991. Oh, life is bigger. It's bigger. There he is. Pride of Britain. Pushing his luck, isn't he? 20 trolleys. Everyone knows the maximum's 14. You all right, Ted? Overwork, underpaid, and no time off. Yeah. Can you manage? You've got a lot of trolleys there. I got it, son. Hi, Ted. Morning, my love. Oh, love old Ted. Have you finished with my shovel? Thursday! Thursday, yeah. That last week. Mm. Right, have a good day. You too. See you in a wee while. <laughs> there you go. It should be open. Oh.
to go. It was that black, it was purple. Okay, let it go. I'll text you later. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Sorry, I didn't know you were in here. Yeah. I was stuck by the door. That's all right. Come on, come on, click every trip. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Lovely day. Maybe breaking a windows was the best ice Oh, I love old Ted. Still got my bloody shovel. What is it with Ted and this shovel? It's not a bloody good snow shovel. It's not snowing. It's not the point. It's had it for ages if you had that bad snow. Well, why do you have a shovel? In case of emergency. So then, on the roads, looking like a busy one tonight, the M6... A blanket and some rope. Some rope? Oh, you never know, do you? Oh. Well, I've got my bags for life. And some party feet. What? Hair. Fashion. Beauty. At Cut Above Hair Salon, we don't just cut your hair, we make love to it. Our world-class creative stylists know all the latest haircuts, including... Did I talk too much this morning? A bit nervous. Are you nervous? I always talk too much when I'm nervous. It's a really bad habit. Uh-huh. I just tend to waffle on and on because I can't stand awkward silences. I'm always I trying tell. to fill the gap. Anyway, it won't matter now because there won't be any awkward silences. And if there are any silences, they won't be awkward. So then, on the roads, looking like a busy one tonight, the M6 causing problems again. Long delays from Junction 21 for no real reason, just volume of traffic on the M56. How was your day? Right, can only get better after Pissgate. Pissgate, oh yeah. And? Well, no one seemed to notice the smell, thanks to Miss Jade Goody. And I managed to blag a fresh shirt off non food, so you mate Diane. Well, you didn't say anything, did you? No, I couldn't. I'm a big gay mute, remember? Sorry. Moving your career in the right direction. Forwards. What's up, Suze? You look well depressed. You're what right, Daz. I am. I just don't know which college to choose. Who we'll starts a conversation like that? I think my head's going to well explode. You sound right depressed. That's how I thought, until I discovered Brillington College. It's really wicked, Suze. Wow. It's got a good wow, son. You look like you want to kill yourself. Below outstanding. And you the doing all right today? Are really varied, from media studies to animal husbandry, theatre makeup design to applied mathematics. Perfect for someone like you. It sounds rad. Brillington College, where brilliance is almost our name. And you listen to this every day. Almost, yeah. Plays good music. Now and forever. Hey! Hey, boy, sitting in your tree. Come for tea. Don't be shy. String up your dive. Down from the tree. I've got an Irish dance break and Morris dance. Quite good, isn't it? I'll show you later. It's my party piece. That's your party piece? And I could do a good Silla Black impression. <laughs> surprise, surprise, old John! <laughs> I'm in your car! And we're gonna have a Laura Laura laughs, me and you. And here's our game with a quick reminder. So much this piggy. I can do that too. Coo me, coo me, baby, coo me. Hey, yeah. Same boy. Belton, that. <laughs> but your party's in swinging. But <laughs> <laughs> your New Year's in swinging, aren't they? Swinger party. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Mary. How can I help? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been proper down in the dumps. I see. Depressed. Can't be bothered. Lack of energy. Exactly. What could it be, Doctor? It's obvious. You need a brand new shed from the shed surgery. What? New shed? I can't afford a new shed. You'd be surprised. Mary doesn't Mary. want a shed. Sheds from the shed surgery start from just a hundred and fifty pounds for a shed. Plus fitting, excluding locks. Less than a hundred and fifty pounds for a. The big, big drive home. So today's tea time teaser. How was your appraisal? Oh, it well, was. Talks about moving me forward for a promotion and the putting me in charge of Christmas. Oh! Yeah. That's fantastic. Well done. 184! 184 what? Soup's till Christmas. I love it. Oh, Basically means I've got to organise a store. They give me a trial run at the busiest time of the year and I've got to get a Christmas team together. Amazing. Can I be a new team? I oh, I've, not, I've not had a chance to think about it Yeah, You know, I've only just been told. Well, I was perfect! You need someone good in promotions to get everyone going. That's me. 
and it'll make a nice change from handing out free snacker jacks all day long. I'm really excited for you. I love Christmas. Me too. I started my Christmas CD already. Shall I bring it in for you tomorrow? Not in this car. Step into Christmas, step into Christmas, dear. But da 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 Driving home for Christmas. Yeah, leave it. I can't wait to see those faces. Seriously, don't do that. Don't do that. Driving home. For all right, Christmas. all right, get off driving the vehicle. All right. All right, French. What's your festive cheer? I just. I don't know, I just can't stand people singing in my face. What, when you're driving? <laughs> no, any time. Freaks me out. What, Christmas song? Any song. Why? <laughs> I don't know, it just, just goes through me. Did something happen as a child? Um, Are you musically challenged? Well, no, I can't think of anything. How weird. I had a bad experience once at a girlfriend's house on Christmas Eve. Oh mm. God, I'll never forget that. Why? What happened? A family had a piano and they all got up and started singing. I got round it singing carols and harmonising. I could have died of embarrassment. Oh, I'd love that! I, I knew you'd say that. You know, proper uncomfortable for me. Why? What's wrong with you? It's Christmas Eve, for God's sake. Because they were all too polished, eyes and teeth, smiley, not me sick. Singing right in my face. Good King Wenceslas <laughs> asked the card on the Feast of Stephen. I, I swear I physically had to run out of the house. Was that Charlotte? No, no, that was Anna. Anna, she before? Yeah. Oh, he's lying. Are you courting now? No, I'm not courting now. Bloody hell, you're a right, nosy bitch, you aren't you? What? <laughs> just making chitty chat. We can't drive in silence. We can. Yeah, we can. Oh. We used to. And was it oh. serious? Mm. Where'd you meet her? Where did I meet her? Uh, I met her on a train. Yeah, I went for an open day at uni, she was on my train. We got chatting, then we bumped each other later and they were showing us around the campus. So I was ditted off and then we travelled back together on the train and showed her wimpy. Oh, it's romantic, meeting on a train. You like Jake Gyllenhaal and Michelle Monaghan in Source Code? What? Source Code, it's a film, it was on Film 4 the other night. Never seen it. You need to go watch it, John, it's really good. He I haven't seen it is trapped in another man's body on a train for the last few minutes of his life. He falls in love with her, but he keeps having to go back in time again and again to foil a bomber. We run a sprinter to crew, there went all that going on. Shall I tell you what happened? No, no, I might watch it. It's a bit disappointing, really. He died. Bruh. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, we spent the day together. And have you seen him in Prince of Persia? Who? Jake Chillenhall. I, no, no, I don't know the man. It's gorgeous. He's got beautiful blue he eyes. Is. You'd know him if you saw him. He's I always get mixed up with man. that Bradley. What's his face? And I'm Bradley. not even all the way gay. Walsh. No, he's in the A-team. Mr. T. Bradley, Bradley. He were in the A-team, Mr. T. Br Bradley. Wiggins. You're just being silly now. I'm not being silly. You asked me a question about my life. Then when I start telling you, you start going about Bradley Gillenthal or whatever in his oh. film career. Go on then, tell me what happened. Did you love her? Did she give you butterflies? Uh, well, we went out for ages. You know, I wasn't fond of her. I did have funny feelings in my stomach, yeah, and then I threw up on my hand in Woolworths, turned out my food poison. I love sick. No way, I had a dicky half pound right way home, that's what it was for a wimpy. <laughs> did she get it? Many times. Oh, the food poison, no, I should have been burger. <laughs> she was vegetarian, weren't she? Probably still is, no, I know. Do you still see her? No, not for years now. She's married, she's got two kids, I think. Why'd you split up? Unless she got a new niche, met someone else. Did you not go? No, I never, I never, I used to go up and see her in halls and, you know, but it, I didn't fit well, the student friends, they were all giving it acid and all that and drugs, it weren't my scene. Have you ever dabbled? I was a drugs mule once. Drugs mule? Seriously. I smuggled 500 E's to Glasgow on a virgin cross country without even knowing. Holy shit. I had no idea, my ex had sold them onto my gusset. No brush. Well, the shit, eh? That's a dangerous game to play. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. I got me revenge. I planted cress seeds under his bed. Why? You've got to think long term, John. I sewed prawns into some of his curtains while he was at work, or dealing, as we later found out. School care taking my eye. He was a drug dealer and he did sus. No idea. I just thought he was popular. Bruh. He paid for everything in cash. He was always going to the toilet. I just thought he had cystitis. What else did you do? 
I opened every ring pull on all the beers in his fridge so they'd go flat. Then I painted clear nail varnish on the back of all his credit cards. They declined. No, I don't blame me. The police had searched your crotch. You got sent down. I wasn't wearing them, John. They're in my vanity case. Still, it's bang out of order. And then I found out he was poking my cousin in Wrexham. Oh. And I don't mean on Facebook. Well, I know. I saw you best rid of him. I parked up outside his school, opened the car doors and had Alana's full blast. Alana's? Where I sat. Because I'm here to remind you of the mess you left when you went away. And now you're thinking of me when you... Uh... <laughs> Now, baby, come on. Don't claim my love. You never let me feel. I should have known that you brought nothing real. Come on, be a man about it. You won't die. I ain't got no more <laughs> tears to cry. an email from HR. Hey, you listening? What? I had an email from HR this afternoon. I see the car share scheme seems to have been a success. Oh yeah, I heard you. They said you can change your body if you're not happy. Right, right. Mm. How about you? What? Car sharing, what do you what do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Do you want to try a new body? I suppose it makes sense to mix it up a bit, share with new people. Yeah, I guess. Are you going to ask for a new body? Well, I want to keep my parking space. Alright, yeah. Anyway, if you're going to be sharing with someone else. Me? No, I'm happy sharing with you. Alright, yeah. Hey, um, I mean, me too. Good. I'll sleep better than knowing that. Oh, that's awesome. Forever, ever. I saw the lamp light from the window. <laughs> I didn't think you were home. Okay, here we are, home sweet home. Mm -hmm. Got me romantic meal for one again. Oh, yeah. What, yum? Good for you, chicken korma. Might throw a few chips on with it. Oh, yeah. What about you? Uh, I've defrosted a lamb stew. Mm, get you, Ainsley. I try. <laughs> you up to anything nice? Yeah. Check my planner. I think I've got a couple of brain coxes need watching. Well, maybe you could have a little think about your Christmas team and all the fun that we're going to have. <laughs> we? I've not even had... I don't even have a chance to think about it, let alone get a team together. I know, but if you don't pick me, I'll tell everyone you've asked me to wee on you. Get out of my car, <laughs> you pistol in cycle. Oh, Go on, <laughs> off. I'll see you in the morning, you big gay mute. Oh, got him. Uh, hey, I am what I am. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Oh, that was sudden. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a fun start. You know, um, it reminded me in the sense this was found. This will sound like a weird comparison. I know um, it reminded me of the royal family in a sense that it's really hard to do a show all in one setting. You know, like the first two episodes of the royal family, which I've seen, the show is uh, like it, like especially the second episode, I think, was just two rooms it was the kitchen the first half and then uh you know the second half was the living room with this pretty much aside from when they got to the store it was almost all the car and shooting a show all in one setting with 
not a change. Uh, it's got to be difficult as shit, you know, so but they made it work. They had great chemistry together. I thought that was a fun opener. Um, and I'm excited for this. Honestly, I, I'm excited for this. This this seems like it should be fun. Uh, I'm getting the vibes early of why this is so highly recommended. And uh, this ought to be good. Honestly, this ought to be good. But that is going to do it for my first reaction to that Peter Kay. F uh, no, 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 that's not it. F to uh, Peter Kay's car share. That's the one. Uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did it as well. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch rise from every single day, my second channel for any views, my Twitter if you want to follow me, my Patreon if you want to support me on my daily motion. All those things are in the description down below. Thank you to all my Patrons for your constant support me and my channel. I appreciate you guys as far as you don't know. You can be a Patreon for me as low as $1 or one pound. You get access to the reaction videos. We'll read your comments up to date early. And your name in the description as well. Also in the description is linked to the community Reddit. As well as the daily schedule, as well as Twitch VOD's channel. For all that being said, though, my name is Noah Taff. This has been my reaction to Peter K's car share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.